What's up guys? In this video, I want to give you a lesson about patience because I think it's very important and I think it's very useful to become a better trader. So stay tuned for today's video. so what you are seeing now is my effects book over the past three months and if you've been following this channel for a while you know that i'm building a track record for you guys two reasons number one there's so many shit educators out there that claim to be called to be profitable but that aren't profitable uh, so i wanted to just show you live verified that i'm profitable this is three months old uh, when October ends, but it's not long enough in my opinion. So the link is not yet on my website and it's still on private, but uh, as soon as this is six months old, I'm going to share it with you guys. So that you can just see that I'm profitable and I'm just not some cunt basically <laughs> trying to sell you something when I'm not doing it myself. So this is the account I made three months old, but today's video is all about patience. Now, why? do I show you these results? If you look here, it's the 14th of October and the last trade, my mechanical trade that I took on this account is the 8th of October and it closed on the 14th of October. Now, the 8th of, to of October is, at the time I'm recording this video, is almost 20 days ago. So I haven't taken a trade in around 20 days and some of you might say oh you're not a real trader but this curve shows differently if we scroll down over the past three months in total i made around 20 percent now if you trade a 100k account you made 20k in three months now that's a great salary and that's around six and a half k per month on average so the point is, you don't have to be trading all the time, guys. And I see so many people crawling to the laptop every single day and trying to force trades because everyone else in these Telegram channels is trading actively and, oh, I'm taking this short and I'm taking that long and I'm doing this. Fuck them. It's about your trading and it's about your edge. This is just me every single day looking at the markets. All right. Nope no setup today, all right, maybe tomorrow, that's it. You don't need to force anything. The only thing that matters is that you execute your edge without making mistake, mistakes. So I haven't traded in quite some time right now and it doesn't bother me at all. I haven't lost money on shit trades that I know I shouldn't take. Uh, I've been following my plan. In the meantime, I've been improving my edge, been working on my business, those type of things. And I'm just waiting and I'm waiting. And if it if I don't get a setup this week, I don't care. And if I don't get one tomorrow or the next week of the day after the next week, I don't care. It's all about knowing when you should be trading and sitting on your hands where you shouldn't be trading and improving during the time. So these Telegram channels, they can be useful, but please don't get influenced by them saying they take this trade and they take that trade and everyone is different everyone trades a different strategy everyone has a different personality some people swing trade it's the same thing like when people say i'm bullish on the euro dollar is it on the hourly time frame is it on the daily time frame nobody knows and you shouldn't care about it the only thing you should care about is just taking the trades that pop up. And yes, this month is around a break-even month if it ends like this. But I don't care. It's normal in trading. If you trade 12 months a year, it's normal to have one, two, three, four, maybe five months where you don't make any money. But the seven months make up for it. As you can see, 14, almost 15% in September. That's a great, great return. And then the next month, it's like this. And that's completely normal. So I guess the message that I want to send out to you guys, don't 
just trade because you feel like you should be doing something in the markets. Only trade when you know that the odds are in your favor. And if there's no setup today, if there's no setup this week, take your time to improve your trading and don't sit there staring at a chart and hoping for the best or forcing a trade that you know doesn't fit into your plan because at the end of it maybe you make money maybe you don't but you feel bad about it because you broke your rules and if you break your rules over and over again you will lose money over and over again so look at it in the very long term look at it at a quarter or a year and then look at what your results are because the results per month can really really fluctuate that's what you see here and don't get to hang up on it. Don't get to hang up on the trades you take. I believe in I've taken three trades so far in October. Now, on average, I take around, I'd say, eight trades a month. And now I, I, I took three trades this month. And the point is, I know that every single year, I on average have a certain amount of trades. But it doesn't mean that I have those every single month. There are months that are just very, very quiet for me where I don't take any trades or a few trades. I have plenty of weeks where I don't trade at all. So to sum this up and to conclude and to give you the tip, don't force yourself to trade. Know your plan and know when you need to be trading. And if that's not clear right now to you, then you have something to work on. So as soon as this video ends, Ask yourself the question, do I know exactly when I need to be in the markets? And if not, work on it right now and make sure that you know exactly when you need to be in the markets. Because when you know exactly when you need to be in the markets, when the odds are in your favor, you also know when you don't need to be in the markets. And when you exactly know when you don't need to be in the markets, it gives you so much relaxation and Basically, you're not as stressed anymore. You know when you need to be trading. You know when the odds are in your favor. And you know during which times you need to sit on your hands. And you have plenty of time to improve your trading. There's no need to be stressed about the price taking up and down. People tweeting, they make money. You're just on your own. You're in your own trading business. And you know when you should be trading. And you know when it's time to work on your trading. So that's the message I wanted to send to you guys today get clear on where you should be trading it doesn't matter if you haven't traded in a week two weeks what only thing that matters is that you have traded according to your plan and that your plan works in the long run so fuck everyone else fuck their trading journey it's about your trading journey it's about your trading and it's about you staying true to the plan and being patient and if you don't trade tomorrow you don't trade tomorrow Stick to the plan, be patient, and know that it's absolutely normal to not trade for weeks at a time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video.